This is Harry and Saskia, and Harry's got a little lump right under his chin. So I didn't really take a really good look at it yet because I want to shave it and really take a peek, but I want to share with you what it looks like and what we can possibly do about it. So he's a little fidgety guy. I'm going to wrap him up a little bit. Come here, little man. So what's going on with him? He's got a lump right under his chin, and it kind of almost feels like there's a, like a, cr um, a scab. Okay, baby, I know. Okay. And this is tough because guinea pigs, those little legs will always find their way out. They will find a way, <laughs> but it's right here, as you can see. It's right. Is focus. Or? Here, oh, okay. Thing. That yeah, we could see that. So we need to shave it. Okay. And uh, so we can really take a good look. Okay. So let's do that now. All right. You want to pause while we shave it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't want to miss this. It looks like a cyst that's kind of burst already. Oh. And cysts are like pimple material. So it's and it's very common. Pigs are just kind of lumpy guinea pigs. They can get these little lumps and bumps. <laughs> They're lumpy. Yeah. And some are more lumpier than others. But right, are you going to try to pop this thing? Yeah. Cause okay, hold on. Let me get in there. Okay. For all those popping people. There's a little scab here already, so. Mm. I guess we've done this so many times, I shouldn't be squeamish. Yeah, we have, Scotty. We've been down this road before. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting. Yeah, I'm sorry, little baby. It's really hard. But I know it's a cyst underneath. Maybe soak it? Yeah, maybe. I'm just trying to find a little scab on the top. There. Oh. That's a little piece. The scab, where'd it go? Okay, baby. I know, okay. I know. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. I know, honey. I'm sorry. It's been very good. Very calm. Okay. Soak it for a bit, okay? Okay, yeah. Oh, I too. Oh, okay. It's okay, baby. Okay, honey. Yep. Am I in your face? So we're soaking it a little bit. Yep. But it's definitely all very dry. It's just, you know, it's like a, it's like a pimple. Yep. And uh, when it gets, when it bursts and it kind of gets exposed to the air, kind of gets really super dry, so that's what's happening here. Yeah. And they get this a lot. And these mm. are, these are benign. They're not bad. This is literally just a giant pimple. Oh. And Could it turn into something if you ignored it? Well, it can definitely become like a neglected cyst, and those can be a problem because those have to be surgically removed when they get really big. Oh. But at this point, we should be able to just help them like this. So I'm going to grab you the surrender paperwork. Okay. Okay. I know. I know. So let's give you a minute break. Let's give you a little break okay. here. Okay. Give a break. Again. All right. I'm going to try. We're back after a short break. So now you can actually really see the white stuff here. And that's the cyst material. Because we so soaked it. We soaked it a little bit. Yep. And I shaved it a little bit more. So... It's no fun. Okay, Olivia, you want to really try and keep his little legs in. So let me wrap him again so you can see the best way to do it is kind of just... Guinea pig burrito time. Tuck it in. And those little legs, they are masters at getting them <laughs> out. So I kind of do this and then I hold this one here. Kind of wrap him up again. So, like right now, I kind of have him, but you can watch those little legs come out again, because <laughs> they're so good at it. <laughs> oh. Oh. He 
he's not happy. No, he's not happy. But he will feel better. Oop. Here come those little legs. <laughs> Almost there, buddy. Yeah, Trying to get in almost there. there. It's almost there. I got it. You just won't let me. Oh no, honey. Here it is. I can see it. It's coming off. Yep, I see it. Oh, wow. Wow, there, was that the scab? This is the scab. Let me see that. Where, where's your hand? Oh, wow. Focus. And then there's some goop underneath there still? Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to see what's underneath. But I have to get the scab off first, and it's super hard Ooh. in order to see what's really underneath. So. Okay. And then let me clean this a little bit. You're oh, not happy. <sighs> Everyone's being very patient. I know. So let's wrap him in. It. Let's wrap him up again. Oh, his, a his little paw, paw came out. Yeah, okay. So messy, Pause again. Because they'd always find a way to fight their way out. All right, we're back. Okay. So what's really interesting is is that. I think I got most of it actually off. So this is just like clean skin underneath here that. I see. I'll zoom in too far. Oh, okay. That I kind of wanna see how this how this heals. That's awesome. I sent it to him and I said, "No, it's your son's name." Okay. Well, let's just see how this heals from here. So, would it, does he need like a ointment or an antibiotic ointment or something? Yeah, but what's the most amazing about when guinea pigs uh, have like uh, open skin like this? It yep. takes a, less than 24 hours for it to scab over, which is it's astonishing. It always amazes me how fast they have that Logan superpower. Guinea pig wounds heal. So. All right, we'll see how this turns out and how it heals. Okay, good oh. boy. Good boy. He was in a trance there for a second. Is there anything I should watch out for? No. He's like, get us off of me. Is there anything that he should watch out? She should watch out for? You no, know, just watch it. I mean, it's 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 highly unlikely that it will get infected. In fact, I've actually never had that happen. When you're working on those cysts. It's, it's one of the easiest things, and it heals so well. So, what's his name again? Harry. Harry. Harry's good boy. All right, thanks, Saskia.